Alright people, welcome back. More Vitamin Y. So today is Tuesday. That means that we're using Clay Glacier C Bell. Ah, this deck is like seriously one of the most simplest C Bell decks, but it's been here for, from the beginning, right? It's one of the few decks that's here from the beginning of Vitamin Y Forever, right? Yeah, Play Glitches, which was called Evil Destiny, Evil Exceeds, and Supervisor, I think, are the three original decks still left. So, up in the hand, this is totally fine. The only thing I got the Rota, got the Foolish, the Limerick Verse, Mass Chameleon, MST, man. There's really no complaints with this hand. No. I, I, the, the Terror is in sight. Alright, Dark Fox. You are going first, sir. You selected first. I do not have my next turn button, so therefore you are going first, so. Guess we're just gonna sit here and wait for you to do something. I'll give you time to think. I have no problem with that. I just gotta entertain you people. Um, how you doing? No, <laughs> not that terrible. Ugh, Bujin bitches. I don't like Bujins. They're really like a really protect the castle kind of deck. I've never been a big fan of that. Yeah. Well, th the way that Bujins do it, you know, they get kind of linear and just, you know, they pretty much just say, you know, protect my Yamato and sit here. Like, okay, that's, you know, that's, that's what you want to do. So, you know, he's obviously going to just go ahead and add the bunny, send the bunny, so. You know, that, and that's, that's the kind of I'm not right now, it's because, you know, I can't tear, but then he could just block with the bunny and then, you know, fuck me up later. Never mind, never mind. I drew, I drew plague. Nah, nah, nah. yeah, I drew plague. I'm fine. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Okay. <laughs> like it's not me, right? It's not just me. Why would you do that? Like that hair was the thing that's protecting your model from destruction. Uh, he should have just seen. There's no reason to do that. If you're going to use your model's effect and send it to the graveyard, then I don't know. I'm not going to tell you how to play Yu-Gi-Oh, but I'm just saying that was kind of, a, that was bad. That was bad. I mean, I get you want the, you, know, you didn't want to waste your trap card, but I would have just went ahead and just took it. I took the neg. It wasn't even a neg. It was a one for one because I used my MST to destroy one of your cards. So it would have been totally even, but you're the one that's like, hey, I got to Get my hair back. Okay, that's what you want to do. I'm just gonna go for Beals. So, even if he, you know, even if he honest me, I would still be totally fine. I would just go up by, you know, 1800. I wouldn't die. And then main phase two. If the Yamato's not dead because he honest, I will go into Scrap Dragon. I will pop the Yamato, so. Or the crane. I mean, I, at this point, I really don't care. When peace are trying to attack, you send this card from your hand to grab it and they get to attack. If you do inflict damage to your opponent, you could have the attacker's attack. So now I'm 4,500. Yeah. And like I said, if I didn't get rid of it, I was going to go ahead and do this play anyway. So I'm going to do Mally first. Yeah, because I want to jump mass killing. So I'm going to do Mally first. And then Plague put the mass chameleon on top of the deck. No, I didn't care if you craned or honest or whatever. Because uh, the additional attack gaining is fine for me. You know, and... This is where you messed up. This right here is where you messed up because now simply I could just go into a scrap dragon, pop you, and then you're gone. You know, so 
you know, that, that, that is a conundrum that you are facing right now, and it's pretty much all your fault. You know, if that hair that you got back was in the grave, you could have just simply just blocked it. But because what you did was wrong, I don't know. I, I want to draw the I want to draw the like oh, I, I want to draw the masculine. And you could have banished that hair. You could have had your you know your uh, Bujin carnation, but now. All you got is Bujins in the grave. You don't have one in Roof and Play. Like, you kind of you kind of screwed the pooch on that one, Mister Bujin player. You should have just kept it in the grave. And as soon as I would have destroyed, you could have banished, and you would have been totally ready. And I killed if I killed your motto, you would have been like Bujin Carnation, summon your motto, summon the hair, maybe XC into uh you know Susano Noah, Susano, yeah Susano, Susano No Wo, Susano Wo, Susano Wo. I think that's his name. The, the woe at the end is catching me off guard. I know Susano, but is it like Susano woe? Or woo? Or Susano? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. So now you're not even sitting in the best of places right now. So I don't really see him doing much this turn, so I'll probably just draw into my mask pavilion, Rota, search for Armageddon Knight, Armageddon Knight, send you bell, and then I have the limit reverse, so even if shit totally hits the fan even though you know you know it's not still oh it's actually still legal actually it's actually the 31st so if he snatch steals me he's looking at his extra draft nice and hard though you know if you can go for you know two two fours on the field i want to see it because i really i don't think you can you know with budget carnation you could but oh right right her yeah i forgot about her roommate I forgot about her. Okay. So he's gonna banish, summon, and then summon, and then XC probably into like 101 Castell. One on one or Castell? Mm hmm. Command, so I'll go ahead and run it up. So now he can go ahead and use his uh, Boot Incarnation. Right, I'll go ahead and give me Armageddon Knight. Summon Armageddon Knight, drop you bell, scrap effect, destroy Armageddon Knight, destroy his back row. Because I, I can handle the one-on-one. -on -one. Like, that, that's not even a threat right now. You know, even if I have to attack it twice, I'll eventually rip off the materials off, both materials off of it, so... I'm getting. I thought I'm getting now. Uh, I'm getting and the back row. Yeah, I'll, I'll handle one on. See? See, it wasn't even the merit 101 that I'm worried about. In Blue Incarnation, you have to control nothing, right? I can't remember. It's been such a long time since I've seen Blue Incarnation. It's been a long time since I've seen Blue Jins. The deck that never got hit, yet kind of just fell off. Alright. So now he does have the hair back in the graveyard. Top deck to Tenki. Hmm... 
I might go on the offensive, especially since I'm not screaming. I might go during your end phase, activate limit reverse, summon you bell. Turn into defense mode, summon terror. Scrap effect, destroy terror, destroy one of your cards. Summon ultimate nightmare, ultimate nightmare attack. Scrap attack. Scrap attack! So that would pretty much get rid of both Titans and Yamato, because he's going to go Yamato block, and then he's going to go... Oh no, he's getting Harume. Okay, so I guess he's going to go banish, summon, summon, and then I guess XC again. But then at that point, you'd pretty much be down in resources, and I could still go for, you know, terror in place. Yeah, I thought you were going to go for Yamato. That kind of caught me off guard, I must say. Really did. <clears throat> oh, you have the... Why not go for Yamato, though? Okay, go ahead and play your Honest. Okay, so I take your attack. Oh, 100 more, because I forgot about the Tinky. I'll block with you, though. So now I pretty much know every single card that you have. Like, really, I, I would have went, like, you had the Honest. You know, I would have just went for Yamato. Yamato could have handled the situation a lot better than Hurume. Especially since you didn't even normal summon, like, I don't even know what's up with that. You don't, you, you don't have to attack. The field was changed, so you can re-declare, yeah. I mean, if you want to ram your 101 in my e-bell, sure, go ahead, but you don't have to. I'm gonna beat you, I'm gonna beat you fair and square, I'm, I'm gonna handle this duel. No, I mean, you still declared your attack. Your attack was still declared, so you can't turn to defense mode, but... You know what? It's really not even worth trying to discuss it. It's not. It's not. It's gonna be the same end result, so it's really not worth, you know, even trying to be like, you know what? No, you can't do that. You know, trying to rule shark this man. Like, <sighs> you can re declare your attack as in you declared an attack in the first place. So the attack was declared, yes. But you. That means you attack. It's just. I changed the field. You re declare it, but you still attack. Therefore, you cannot change the battle position of your 101. But. Hey. <sighs> What you gonna do, right? It's not even worth the trouble or the effort of being like, hey, you can't do that. Not at all. So, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm thinking about dropping Plague just because I have so much revival, but, you know, Eris seems more viable right now. Maybe? If I drop Plague and then I get a, and then I get a revival card from Ali. Yeah, I really don't need to do that right now, so I'll go ahead and drop Plague. All right, makes me wish I went Goyo Guardian. It's like go Goyo Guardian attack. He would block it with hand and wipe him, but it's okay. It's not really worth the effort right now. So I'll just go end phase terror effect. So I just gotta hope that he doesn't top deck into a level four because if he does, then I'm gonna get Castelled. But that's exactly what's gonna happen. Yes, I can. Really gonna? Are you? <laughs> Limit reverse destroys the bell. Now come on, come on! It's not that difficult. Read limit reverse. Read limit reverse. It's so it's such a beautiful card for you, Bell. If it's change the defense position, destroy it. Simple as that. So, turn you bell defense, it's destroyed, summon tear. It's one of the reasons why this is one of the best you bell summoning cards. No, it did indeed, did not. Read limit reverse. Read limit reverse. Never mind, yeah. Come on, it's not that hard. You want to use your hair? Actually, you know what? Instead of dropping Plague, I probably should have dropped Phantom of Chaos. Yeah, I should have dropped Phantom of Chaos, but it's okay. I'm still sitting okay. Is 
It's fine. Go ahead. So all I need you to do is not top deck a level 4, which is asking probably for a lot, because there is a lot of level 4s. So all he has to do is just summon that level 4 that he top deck, actually in the castell and detach, bring me back to deck. I get no ultimate nightmare. Ah, if I was running Goyo Guardian, this play that would that would have been a little bit different, but my my plays are skilled, but right now the factor of luck pot. Okay, he can't special summon. Whew. Well, you know, pot needs to resolve. The one ran, so you're not grabbing that. Sword, you might grab that. Venus chain, you might grab that. Venus Chain's not a terrible grab. Actually, I'd grab the Phoenix Chain, so you can chain up my uh, tear, which would be totally fine. Then you would kill me, I would get Ultimate Nightmare, and then you'd still be in a conundrum, so. Really, I just need a Revival card. You know, at this point, going for another Beals, like, look at the hoops he had to jump through for Beals, and he has to do with Terror, you know, slash Ultimate Nightmare into Beals, like, with the low amount of resources he has. He has. Yeah, I also thought he was going to grab the Phoenix Chain. And chain me up, which is totally fine. And then that Divine Wrath, just because, you know, Pujin much as he's in his hand. Now he's going to go ahead and set that. <sighs> what about to say? Um, that's not how that works, but okay. Well, you better hope I don't top deck into a monster. Alright, I got the revival I needed for Melly, so we're still totally fine. Still totally fine. Perfect. That's fine. Go ahead. I still get my effect in the grave, so. Actually, you know what? I could just go activate Oasis and then just summon Beals. Crane, XC. That's fine. I guess I'm assuming Sasano or Castell. One one. I'm in defense. Really, I'm in defense. Want to try that again? Come on, man. One one has been out for how long? Like, I swear to God. Special summon monster. Yes. In attack mode. No. So, you want to try that again? Okay. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm being nice. Got lucky top decking level four like that, so I'll give it to you. You said it's your luck versus my skill right now, so even with luck on your side, I'm still gonna beat you. That's my plan anyway. So yeah, I don't even need to do the whole play like that and you know, no. I could just literally just go waste this summon back the Beals anyway. Now, if he didn't get the play that he got right now, I was going to go, you know, summon Scrap, Scrap, Destroy, and do that, but, but still, I'm going to have a build. So I'm assuming that you're going to go, either if you don't have a Castell, then you're going to go Mr. Sanoa, or Castell is the right choice. Castell is the number one choice right now. Black Shep is wrong, because I still get Ultimate Nightmare. Uh, going on the defensive is wrong, because you don't know what the cards I have, so it's right now it's the best time to push. You need to push for uh, plays right now. This man's tricking, sitting here looking at his extra deck as if something's gonna magically appear in his extra deck. He's fucking looking like fucking you, your head ass. <laughs> no, Yuma. Yuma's the one that fucking creates Yu Gi Oh cards. I mean, guess Yu Gi Oh to an extent, but Yuma's the one that's just doing miracles. Okay, sure. Okay. Sure. Sure. I guess you're just gonna go ahead and just quit. Like, alright. Like,. I don't know where your Castell is. Okay, so let's say he exceeded the Castell. Uh, he spun me back to the deck, which is fine. Uh, that he would try to attack me. I would activate Oasis, summon back Bills. Can't get over that booty. Not with all my Castell. He would have no cards. That would draw. Eris, okay. Uh, you know what? I'd probably just summon Eris. Yeah, I'd summon Eris. And you'd so attack mode, attack over the Castell, attack you for a thousand. And at that point, you'd be straight up top decking. So, let's say the straight up worst. The worst possibility happens. He top decks. Pujin Connection. Alright. 
X season two, the only one that can handle this is another. No, he has an additional one on one, so one on one would take me again. So I do my one on one. He would attack over this. I take two one one hundred, and then I would get a. Sorry, I should nefariousness. Okay. Then I would draw my turn. Call the haunted. Okay. We still have my card attached. I would. I could go for Black Rose. Or Yazi. Yeah, Yazi. Yep, I'd go summon Mask Chameleon, Mask Chameleon, summon back. Yeah. So this would be his. That would be attached to a 101. I was going to say, the worst case scenario, he top decks into a. Uh, into a. Legion Carnation. So, I mean, you back. There's really no point in going into Black Rose. So we'll go ahead and go into Yazi. Yazi, attack over the 101, rip off an attachment. He can't target me, so no more 101 or cast Stelling. So at that point, he would have to top deck into like another Fiendish Chain, and I'd have another Call of the Haunted, which means I detach the Beals off of your 101, which means literally I could just go, all right, Call of the Haunted, bring back the Beals again. So, oh, and the Regeki. Yeah, I was still fine. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and call episode of Vitamin Y. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow using Ubalxies. All right, people. Thanks for watching.